Welcome back! Already? Oh yes? My name is Ben, but I also go by Dagon, he who knows 1000 things. Today's episode of the Slayer Mindset series will actually cover something each and every last one of us suffers from. Horrible Timing Syndrome. By the way, that's not a real thing, so you need not Google a thing. But I feel like it should be at least a condition, because we've all been there. We've all watched a doorway or a corner for what feels like hours. And that pesky little voice in our head starts to whisper, Hey, 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 you're camping again. <laughs> to which I respond, I'm not camping, creepy little voice in my head. This, this is a tactical sit down, all right? <laughs> Plus, I've only been here for three seconds. Get off me. But eventually you give in and decide to move. Then the moment you look away, some lucky sum of my own appears behind you by magic and decides to bullet pepper you in the back. Oh, I'm so sneaky. So with that in mind, I've decided to share a few ways that I counter this problem. Here are three of them. First, keep your peripherals on screen. Here's a demo. Notice that I wide angle approach every area I'm invading. Some of you that have a high sensitivity can do a quick glance at a corner or door until it's safely behind you. Simply keep the doorway or corner in your field of view until it is no longer an issue. Second, create a mental timer. Set it to go off every three to four seconds. And when it goes off, scan your surroundings and pre-fire like a lunatic. <laughs> Here's a demo of that. It takes roughly what, 8 to 10 seconds to get to the center of any map from a given spawn point? So it's important not to let your guard down immediately after you down a tango. You better believe they're making a beeline for ya. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, use precautionary jukes. Now this is different than the regular juke because here you're juking an opponent that may or may not be there. Now that sounds kind of confusing, so I'll demonstrate. Here, I know from previous experience that the grass apartment, that's what I call it, is a popular hotspot. So when I run across in full view of that hotspot, I double back, not knowing anyone would be there. And bang bang, bojangle that roof hopper in no time. Anywho guys, that's, ooh, right there. <laughs> oh, this crouching, Tiger, the hidden monkey. Who's <laughs> Anywho, guys, these are some little tidbits I use to keep my kill streaks uninterrupted. But this list is by no means exhaustive. If you check out my last Black Ops 2 video, you'll find three other habits I've picked up over the years. And honestly, I think that there is something everyone does instinctively while gaming to avoid certain death. So I'll ask you guys, what are some of your gaming quirks? Or what have you picked up from watching other people? I'm curious. Maybe y'all can learn this something. In other news, I've just bought Modern Warfare 2 again. I went on a couple of nights ago and for the first time in probably two years. Oh boy. I had some good laughs, a couple of death threats, and made some new friends. I'll be uploading some gameplay from that session next. If any of you are on Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox 360 this weekend, shoot me a message saying, Oi! and we'll run some games. I've come to realize that I'll never enjoy another Call of Duty as I did MW2. Despite all its flaws, it is in my opinion the best Call of Duty. Also, uh, apologies for the delayed upload. I went to watch Rise of the Planet of the Apes last night and it is a great movie guys. It is a definite must see. But until next time, God bless. I've been Daegu and you've been watching The Slayer Mindset. So may your kills be many, and your deaths be few. Meow. I don't know what that was. Goodbye.